Thank you for your service. You just loving on yourself and you deserve it. You've been walking in your faith, you know what's worth it. DJ Fonche turned the tables, now we serving, motherfucker, you know. Thank you for your service. You just loving on yourself and you deserve it. You've been flowing with the sun, you know what's worth it. Meditate and sink and with uh, your passion in your face. I got a mess now. What am I disguised? I guess that Pisces place we got me feeling for fish fries. Invoke Medusa lately and Freya Marie Laveau. I'm a model for greatness. I visualize out of centerfold. <laughs> I see this masterpiece, a slice of the bigger picture. The alchemist cookbook got me stirring a bigger mixture. Conscious breathing, be still. Inhale and we heal. Exhale, release, feel. Through your body, we heal. Letting go so much trauma, been flying baggage free. And as a bus of a load, been flying under sea. And I'ma drop within the ocean, I'm in middle C You hold the key to the keys When you think that for you are The sun, the moon, and stars Dust from the earth are From the mind we start Create, we be thought Low vibrations fall Back to the power of thought Back to the power of thought Higher vibrations we spark Light from the heart connect Line up the silver We sliver up through the spine You shiver If I don't do nothing, I'ma meditate Fight with my darkness Had me feeling like a heavy Weight. My inner child yelling, nigga, drop that to a lighter weight. I'm high on vibrations, got me feeling like a featherweight. My heart up on the scale, and I command this with a featherweight. Sigils on the crystals, pay attention what the symbols say. You know it. Thank you for your service. 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 Meditating, nigga, with the purpose. Thank you for your service. You can let them know you're selfish, 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 you are bringing balance into both our hemispheres mm, both of our energies masculine and feminine as we inhale heal the energy exhale the toxins and on our holds you know what i'm saying we're uh, we're practicing that instant gratification that that urge to gotta have it now or else and i'm gonna worry about it and well now you know what i'm saying with allowing to uh i gotta put something else i don't need i don't want any words right now So for myself, it's been patience. Observing, letting myself know that we can take time, even if we need to run through a brick wall, uh, then we know what vehicle we need to use at that time. Because even if it is, all right, we need to go kick some ass, then at least we know why we are. Or if we're just running through another pattern, you know, or we're just, you know, serving our ego again. Sometimes it'd be like that. And if we are, then we know what's up. Like, I got to be good with my shadow as well. Not constantly, uh, constantly trying to figure out what's wrong with it. No, 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 no. That's like some. That's another never-ending uh, ploy. It's just like going into conspiracy theories, trying to figure out 
who did this to me? Or why would they keep doing it and stuff like that? Come on, huh? You know what I'm saying? You see the energy? Boom, boom. Polarity. You know what I'm saying? Like, balance these energies within. Ascend. Observe why you continuously come back. And what are the energies that are being reflected? Why do you keep having the same family members or meeting the same types of people? Like, you got 14 different jobs that you worked in your lifetime. But you seem to always attract this there. Why do you attract this there? Why do I um, attract this energy? Good, bad, and indifferent. I'm out of it. And here for the moralities. That's a never-ending low vibrational ploy. Sometimes you got to jump down there and there do it. Hey, it is everybody's experience. Once we rise up out of that, well, me and we, because it's not just me. Unless. That's what they're bringing people. Sure. Decide to let yourself know. It's like, damn. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be fucked up. Be doing some wild shit. Like old animalistic shit. You know, that survival shit. <sighs> and then also knowing that, hey, gratitude works. The protections work. Like the inner protect sitting up in the, the activating the inner protections, it does manifest itself out here for real, for real, for real, for real. And mad grateful for it. So let's continue. Going to play in F sharp right here. We have our itch pipe. I think we got it for. Five, six dollars on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? So, great way to uh, learn your own key. Myself, Libra rising, Aries moon, Virgo uh, ascending. So, we got that F chart for the Libra. The C for Aries. This is actually the balancing for that. And then also the Virgo, which is one back of the F sharp of the note of F. So that's how I open minds. So what I'm saying is we starting off opening up the chest area because this F sharp deals with up here as well as the F and the Libra and the Virgo. So a heart right there. And there's um, using uh, color therapy, color magic. There are many other colors as well. You can use the green for the chest. You can use the red for the heart. You can use the pink for the heart as well. Light green as well. A massage here. Let's see on the left reading coming all the way up. You feel it tender in there? You feel it tender? You feel some tenderness in here? Just show yourself some love. And uh, it just ain't no off the whim shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, checking into um, reflexology as well as hand reflexology. Different points. Different planets. Meridians. Shouts to uh, Megan. Hmm, call her the, the the family masseuse, man. She uh she brings um she activates bliss within us all. And thank you, Megan. Let me stop talking. I keep goddamn talking to him. Yeah. Appreciate you coming through. And at this point, as I am, you know. 
myself earlier. If you want to press pause and set your protections, speak to your spirit guides, your ancestors, do your activations how you do before we get into here because I myself am going to be releasing as we do this breathing and there's no reason for you to be catching any shit that I'm putting out yet. You feel me? So do your goddamn protections. You feel me? Like, you know, however you do, cosmic, cosmic sphere, um, that's in basic sigil magic with Philip Cooper, um, psychic protection, um, psychic defense, that book as well. There's much color therapy I'm going to read now. We've got a whole library of it, more room library too. In the description, as well, 15 gigs of books. we got two of those, more room library too, more room library so almost uh, 25 to 30 gigs of books. That's 1,000, 1,500, almost 2,000 books worth of uh, occult knowledge and references. So that I've uh, downloaded and gathered from others, you know, Brother Panic, Dr. Lee Mel Bay, Bill Valentine, um, Dr. Be Serious, Dr. Be Serious. Um, Professor Professor Mellon, yeah, Miss Blue, MG the Future, um, Asir Duke of Tears. Brother Panic, Penny, Dreamwise D-Ray, Brother C. Freeman L, Azazia Bay, Sister Myra. Mm. I just listened to his live the other day. He was on Brother Rich's um, Black Magic. Rod Hayes. Brother Yusuf. So, yeah. Um, I didn't get this shit on my own. And even going back to um, well, I'm talking about like wow, before the internet or before like online, online. I went into it like that. I mean, yeah, like after um, the towers and whatnot, things changed for me. Then we graduated. And it was. So I'll probably say um, John Hayes, Trey Arms, uh, being a community college at 17 was, you know, that was that was quite the experience. And thank you for that. Corey Holcomb, 5150 show. Him and um so Williams, so what morning show? Jeff Brown, Doc, a couple other folks who'll be on there who will come through there. Uh, Bobby G, Bobby Clanton, um, Tariq Nishi, Dr. Umar. I was talking about that early, Dr. Umar, for my. My era, Dr. Uh, early Dr. Umar. So, yeah. Yeah, I always, oh, um, how could I forget? What is his name? Man, he had all the information, all the receipts on Facebook. He had all the receipts, dog. I know. Hold on. I gotta have to. It's on here. Where is it? Or would it be? Oh man, it might 
might be on the other one. Never mind. I can remember his name, man. He was where it was during the time of the Trump stuff. He was dropping all the like the documents and whatnot. I don't remember that brother's name, man, because he was like he was one of the first ones that activated that reflected back to me that I could find the information myself. Just knowing where to go, how to go, where to look, how to look. How to uh, read court documents, how to read uh, county documents, how to read, you know, there's a new uh, land grant getting voted on and something like that. Go and check that out. Just seeing whose name's on certain bills. Oh, man. I'm telling you, golly. That really uh, opened my eyes to a lot of being able to get to information, not having to rely on the mass media to sift through that and try to figure out what they were doing and getting caught up in that and just getting to the baseline facts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even with all that Obama stuff and who who was donating to whose fund and who was the actual owner of the land that the buildings were on and where bunkers were. <laughs> Oh man, what a time. What a time that was. I've got to... It's in here somewhere. I know it is. Hmm. We should be breathing. Yeah, let's go ahead and breathe. Let's start off with F sharp. <laughs> I'll go with six three six three. So an inhale through the nose, expanding the belly on the inhale. At the top, hold for three. Exhale with a uh, for six. Deflating the belly like a balloon. All the air out. Then hold for three at the bottom. Begin with the inhale. Have your feet flat, put it forwards. And you can have your palms facing up in your on your knees or in your lap. Sitting tall. Shoulder blades back a bit. Eyes closed and crossed. So you can look down to the bridge of your nose, or in the middle of your brow, the top of your crown. Have a deep exhale with long and mind. Inhale. Feel the resonance in your chest and your limbs. If you have any 
images, memories, um, any thought forms coming through, remember to write those down. Let yourself know it's okay. Whatever they may be, good, bad, and different, no matter, goddamn. Write that shit down. And also write down how good you're feeling, too. Like, we, we do, we have been under the program of what's wrong with me. You know, trying to figure out what is that or who did that to me or what happened. You know, why am I so bad? Why am I so wrong? Why am I so mean? Why am I so empty? Why am I so all these emotions? You know, rip with repetition, drama, symbols. Shout out to Brother Penny for that. Repetition, drama, and symbols. So, what have you been repeating? What do you repeatedly, repetitively say? What are your signs? What are your symbols? You know, what does that person reflect back to you? What do they mean to you? What does it mean when someone says dad, father, mom, uh, police, red, green, ice cream, go outside, play? What does it mean when someone says fun? What does it mean? Like, why do you react that way when someone doesn't want to have fun according to you? Like, what are those? And not just for the benefits of being a good person. We connect them with our inner portals, our higher selves. What did we come back here to do? What did I come back here to do? You know? Why do we... Why do we have the, what's the point of having these feathers and these, these, these tones and tuners and, and not really <laughs> well, those are the drawings, you know, all the drawing in here, you know, what's that, but having all the statues and the, and the, Arms and the Saraswatis and the energy streams. Because mm, eventually we ain't gonna need none of this. I'm not gonna use it or have to have it in our hands or have to see it, have to look at it, or keep it in the background. Our subconscious is just gonna have it. It's gonna be automatic. I ain't gonna have to need none of this. It's all going to be activatable at a whim. You know. And it is possible. It's possible now. And to what level? And, you know, just going back, going and activating the energy stream that already did this. The version of ourselves that has already, already completed that mission. Just like this breathing. You know, self-healer. A healer of self. Slow the breath down so we can access those states of mind. Those, those, those. And communicate with those. Communicate with our source within. Follow that intuition. Visualizing the now, now, like right now, manifesting, efficiently manifesting. Manding source. All right. I'm watching the stars on Mars right now and watching those individuals who 
when Christopher Nance Place was the first to be eliminated. It's his role to play was the role of I don't see myself useful in a situation like this. There are others who can handle this. Their forms is going to be out the way. Y'all got it. Have I done that before? Yep. Have I seen that as a survival mechanism? Yep. Do I understand why I've done it? Yes. Do I understand why others have done it to me? Have I been hurt from that before? Have I hurt others with that? So, now, you get it? Is it always that easy? Yes. Is it always that easy? Yes. Keep saying that. It is always that easy. You just have a a wider perspective of what easy is. That's all. Why not? Why not have an expanded perspective of easy rather than repeating this is hard or this is tough or this is this or that, you know, whatever your ego needs to tell you. But why not have, just have an expanded perception of perfect? Have an expanded perfection of awesome and expanded perfection of expansion of happy do whatever i'm doing whatever i gotta do that's all that's in alignment with me i sync up when i sync up i link with others i attract others And yes, it it takes great practice. And um, being willing to take a foul, man. But you think, like, that's why you want to practice against Pat Bev. I want to practice against Pat Bev because I want to know what it's like to go against A version of me that wants nothing more than to shut me down. And it's not even about me to them. They have their own journey, their own adventures, their own goals. Like, here we are, both manifested to be in this moment to test ourselves. And it's like... I'd be able to take the foul. Shoot knowing that you can miss. But you gotta practice and know what it's like to miss. Know what it's like to make it. Know what it's like to get hit. Know what it's like to get hit and no one say nothing. Not get that foul call. Or to know what it's like to go seeking contact and know why you would do that. Or trying to get a foul, don't get the foul. And you're like, oh, that didn't work that time. Let's breathe. We're gonna do inhale for four, hold for eight, exhale for four, hold for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, six, seven. Four, eight, four, four. Four, four, eight. Eight, four. Or maybe six. Let's do four, eight, four, four. Inhale for four, hold for eight. Exhale for four, hold for four. 
Now this is, let's start this. So this song is four minutes and 33 seconds. So we'll do about four minutes, huh? You want to feel that resonance? Eyes closed and cross. Let's go ahead and get there. Let's begin. Inhale. Let's your hands in your lap. Allow your breath to adapt, activate, ease. You feel the resonance in your body, your extremities. 
for some, your pineal could be signaling. Just accessing states of mind. And in these states of mind, access your eye being, your eye yourself, God, goddess, whichever click you claim. Your command center. You and source. Receiving. Maybe purple, indigo. Maybe you have your eyes, you know, your eyelids shut. Now just pinch them down just a little bit more. Or it's completely dark, even if the lights are on. <laughs> and even with your eyes closed, you can definitely. Mm hmm. Yeah. Remember when you was little and you had the flashlight, you flash that thing up at the ceiling and then you turn the flashlight on, but you can still see the colors. Yeah, you remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's when all that was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking to your imaginary friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's always been an inside job. It's cool. It's cool that everybody, it's cool that your mama and them didn't tell you, your daddy and them didn't tell you, both didn't tell you. It's cool. But you were going to find this out anyway. So yeah, that's so. Uh, you can go in your meditations now. Like that's like a pregame, a warm-up. You know, you're in the now. You're in now. Now. Now you can go into that book reading or um, rooms or meditation practice. Maybe you want to go down your spiral staircase and see what's really going on with 1962. Like, really go back to your birth and really go, you know, we're in a graduation graduation stage, so go back to those years you were graduating. Like, whenever you have children, you, you know the things that run through your mind during graduation ceremonies or hear the others, the other adults and what they converse on and you ask yourself, what are, you, what are the things that you keep repeating? What are your narratives? What are your triggers? So, in How to Win Friends and Influence People by Joe Navarro. Uh, yeah, this is a PDF, so. It's not the book book. So, it doesn't have the, you know, type of contents and whatnot. But, um, where are we at? We're going into principle one, become gen genuinely interested in other people. True. It's very true. Give science on why. No. How to do that simple way to make a good first impression. Principle two, smile. 
Smiles are real, man. Um, and not smiling just to put on a show. Because, I mean, sometimes you do. But also knowing what genuinely gets you smiling. Some of the things that genuinely get you smiling, you've had to tuck away because it's been frowned upon in a work setting or a church setting or a school setting or an adult setting or a home setting or a house setting or a friend setting. Mm-hmm. You know what I like to do in public? Dance. I like to dance, be in constant motion, whether I'm swaying, moving on my feet, bouncing, Moving my hands, like just staying in the motion, keeping a nice song in my heart, in my mind, while I'm vibrating at a certain level. So even when I'm waiting, I'm not balling up and getting frustrated because we know what it's like. Hey, what's up, honey? The DJ. Oh. Mm. Yeah, lots of people listen to music. And I was listening to music, especially with headphones, to keep uh, like to keep my my own circle, especially for my ears. But lately since uh our AirPods have been gone, we've been using that. Like, we have our very own Alexa. You can turn on any song, anytime. You know the words, you know the beat. And you can go back to a time in which you were listening to it freely. So you got the feeling attached to it as well. Boom. You're in the club. You're on, you're jumping on your bed with your friends, singing this song. Do ba dee 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 dum dee dee do. Or this song right here, Loetry. So, meditate to that music as well. Oh, what's some other stuff? Yeah, just getting in your own, man. Um, you don't got to do everything that everybody else got to do. But also check some things out, too. Because, look, you, you have a knowing of everything that you're supposed to know about. But the abundance is, is that everything's available. So there are people that are reflecting something back to us that we are here to understand. So maybe, the, you know, someone is speaking on uh, ancient deities and something like that. But maybe they're talking about theirs. So you're figuring out how do you find yours, you know? This is Sophia. I just had this. Um, doing things like uh, numerology. Cheryl's book of numbers was huge. It was a huge book for me just getting into. Yeah, you know, people who were born under number one. I am someone who was in number one. I was born on October 10th. You know, the 10th day, one plus zero is one. Numbers one to nine, called the single numbers, how they influence men and women. And it's not something, it's something that gives, um, actually opens more, open more portals for me that there was more than just, you know, using my birth date, birth time birthplace it meant something 
giving meaning to my own. I was told these things didn't matter. Or not, you know, and also um, through media and you know, TV, movies, the things that we liked, things that we watched. Ain't gonna poo-poo that shit. It's just we were taught to laugh at those things that, you know, and we see why. I ain't gonna true. You know, numbers given to the days of the week. Sunday, one and four. One, the sun. You know, Libra. Second period of the sixth of the Aqua sign, Libra, 21st October, September to the 20th of October, October 10th. It's also listening to certain artists, um, the uh, certain music that I've enjoyed. Those energy streams, those people, those artists, those singers, those rappers, those dancers, many of them born in these signs, similar signs. Also known as the Virgo and the Libra, the sort all these, you know, all these energy streams within. Just the time that we came back and was like, oh, we wanted this one. Ruled by Venus, six force number. We seen six. Oof. Mm. That's uh, one stands for symbolism for the sun. It is the beginning. Mm. Base of all numbers represents all that creativity, individual, positive. Strongly individual, definite in his or her views, and in consequence, more or less obstinate, and determined in all they as individuals undertake. Specific times where you were born, specific energy streams to be in, uh, and also knowing that every day belongs to you as well. Like every day is it. Every, you know, time and space and all that and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Number one, people are ambitious. So if you are ambitious, then you're like, oh, okay. Then you can definitely, in meditation, you can go in those ways and find and connect to those versions of yourself that is ambitious. Those you have met who were teaching you how to be ambitious. Maybe you're not. Or you have reasons why. I, hey, not everybody tears the ACL. Some people do. They dislike restraint. They rise in whatever their profession or occupation may be. Occupation may be. They desire to become heads of whatever their businesses are. It's like, have I seen these things in myself? Yep. Departmental chiefs, they keep their authority and make themselves respected and looked up to by subordinates. Yeah. Should endeavor to carry out most important ideas on all days or their own number. We did this before and it works. The first 10th, 19th, 28th of any month, especially in those periods. Mm -hmm. Yep. Also, oh man, we did this as well. I like to use this when um, doing um, interviews and such. And when people get persons born under the number of two, four, seven. Yep, sure. Do. Those on the second, fourth, seventh, eleventh, thirteenth, sixteenth, twentieth, twenty-two, twenty-second, twenty-fifth, twenty-ninth, thirty-first days of the week. Oh yeah, colors. We yes. Portion of colors, try them. Test them out. More none of the number one. All shades of gold, yellows, bronze, and golden brown. Mm -hmm. Their lucky jewels are topaz, amber. Yep, amber. Yep, 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 yep. If possible, they should wear a piece of amber next to their flesh. Mm -hmm. There are people born under that. 
energy streams to study. It's just like it's just like a creative player in NBA 2K. It's like Alice into the great. You know, in your mind you type it in and you go to get the attributes. Go in there, edit the settings, see what's up. And all this is within anyway. Well, yeah. And then number two is on the so board. Yeah, man. Of course, uh, the library. This is the more room library too. So yeah, you got psychic self-defense. Breath. Breathing all types. Visualizations. All in there. Moojers. Meditation. Look. Everybody ain't got to try it. Access to heaven within. Access your heaven every single day. Yes. Talk to your animals again. Animal within. Entered sex. There's a man talking here for that as well. Self love workbook. I feel I've clicked on this, but maybe I haven't. So, oh, like, books like this. We can do something with it. You get the intro. You get some wives. You get some, you know what I'm saying? You get some science on the matter. You see, hey, what hits you, what resonates with you. You talk to your spirit guys before, and hey, is this something we're going to be on? And you learn something new. Learn some unknown. You know what I'm saying? Like, how willing, how willing I am to transmute whatever low vibrations are there. Whatever I'm holding on to. No, 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 no. Self-awareness is the ability to recognize who you are, how you influence the world, and how the world influences you. Self-awareness encompasses your ability to attune to <clears throat> and take accountability for your thoughts feelings, and behaviors. It be me. Self-exploration is the courage to delve into learning about yourself in order to improve your knowledge of who you are. Self-care is comprised of a wide variety of tasks that require you to take care of your overall wellness. And of course, throughout, the more you know, the more you can add into these words like ain't nothing definite here this is all up for review that's why you're reviewing it it's jack but for me i actually have to partake to review just can't sit on the outside and be like oh man you know fuck that so the same way we get in here and do that it's the same way we do this like why why would we trip? Like why would like what you gonna trip on? Governor with the dead, witch and myth and history. Yeah. Letting it embody mind spirit connection tools. Mm. Setting up your altars. Oh. Mm. How's it, Sarah?
No, no sé. Hey, ¿cómo? Yeah, we're going to have to re -read. Like, you got to slice nothing. They got stabbed nothing. Like... You've been hosed. We've all been hosed, but... Been, have been, okay, got you. Look, listen to this, think about this. You were tricked because of ignorance. Same here. So, it's not as if they were good at it. They had to do it to you when you were a baby. That's what they had. Because as you see, once you are aware, they can't stop you. Not even close. They're not even close. They're not even a factor. Look at the Marvel movies again. They're not a factor. It's not even close. They got nothing. Look around. They got nothing. Look around. Again? Stay inside? Again? Really? Word? Oh. That's what you got. Sheesh. Yeah. Oh, well. They got nothing. So continue. Let's continue. Ooh, some Donald talking. Cosmic detox. Lucid dreaming. Alchemy of the nine dimensions. Ooh, this one right here. Korean gospel. Jesus Christ. This right here was the first book I that really. I remember getting this and was like, I thought I'd, I'd been asking, like, what was the truth about this Jesus dude? I really wanted to know. You know, you hear a lot of things, see a lot of things, read some things. But once I started reading, I remember I was running and listening to this. So I was the the future. It's cool. I just remember listening to it, first couple chapters, and I was just like, the one thing I was asking that, you know, I thought would never be answered. Because I was like, man, I didn't want to die or leave this earth and not know the truth or a truth. I thought it was the truth. It was just another narrative. Who knew that a mountain was just a a step, a little small step, a big step, but like once this veil went down or went up or however, it was it was fucking on, man. So I'm so glad. Oh, I, oh I'm so grateful for this because Like, and one day I ain't even gonna need to scroll through none of this shit. None. And the fact that all of this is already in here anyway. So we've already done all of this before. All of this. I'm gonna watch a movie. That's what I watch. Under the dome. About my father. I think I was watching Archer. Natural projection. Wait. 
Is that it or was that it? Was that the same thing? Requiring gospel of Jesus Christ by Levi. Yeah. Because it was those because oh well. Okay, I know why. We've already done this. Because I was writing a book. I was writing a book on the it's called 1230. 1233 the missing years of Jesus Christ because I always wanted to know what they were I was like what's going on why is it missing what's the hold up and then it was like and then I just remember reading this part and just was like what do you mean India India and it was like you know Jesus in Peru and I'm like hmm. you know then rocks when the rocks cry out it's like oh my horse butler it's like yo so the bill come up it's like the bill come up past lives in thyself trauma like magic of unicorns non-control hey man come get it sacred sounds you know shit get your chart get that shit See where you know, see where you already been, see where your energetic ties already are. And you'll see why you love computers that way, or you'll see why you want to sky jump so much. Or you see why you push the limit so hard. Or you see why you disagree with your brother, or why you and your cousin get along so much, or why you had those types of friends. You went to that school, you stayed on that street, you worked those jobs, those commercials meant to you. Or why you had these types of perspectives, these types of perceptions, these types of triggers. Why were you programmed that way? Why did you want that program? Why did you choose your name? Why did you have those pets? Why did you have those experiences with those pets? What are your chakras? Where are they? Are they balanced? How out of balance are they? Okay, but well, how do we transmute that power? We've done it already. What work do we put in? What herbs? What breaths? What we're writing? What time we need to go to sleep? Meditations. What are we going to fast on for this week? Three day fast, five day fast, seven day, and a minute. No TV, no internet, but outside, grounding, showers, baths, do a front flip. Take it, you know, men, take your shirt off at the pool. Kissing, hugging. New goals. Those sorts of things. Releasing those generational curses that we have survived on for a while. You know, watching the shows that you grew up on and seeing those characters and seeing what you attracted, what you lived out. So, close it.
this one. Yeah, breath work. Bird book to go through. Get some breath practices. Some who's, some what, some where, some why's. Deep exhale with own and my inhale. Um. Um. Oh, this is over. 